Hey there and welcome to base painting the Danavis Hacker and first up I'm just going to block her in in uh, charcoal grey um, I'm going to attempt to do the inner glow the opposite way around this time so I'm going to paint her first and when I do the lighting last of all I will run light tints uh, or white into all of the gaps basically before painting in the luminous paint and I think also I'll end up doing a, a, a quite like the purple luminous glow so I think I'm going to mix luminous blue and luminous pink paint to make luminous purple paint hopefully but eh, that'll happen in a, a few episodes time so first up just blocking in the charcoal grey I'll catch you in a moment you have the charcoal grey all blocked in then and next up I'm just going to be blocking in dark blues which will lead up to the blue greys and also I will start blocking in some of the other details um, I haven't quite decided exactly what colours are going to go where so I'm going to just discover this as I go along I'm going to, as with the Asterask, kind of roughly be following the colour scheme used by Angel Crowders so, but I'll be back in a moment with some more stuff blocked in Catch you in a second. So here's our blues applied, and I'm just using blues to indicate what I'm going to take up to blue grey, and then I don't really want to go lighter than blue grey. Uh, it's a similar scheme, but not identical to angels. Keep on seeing silver things. Damn it. So I'll just touch in the silver before I do anything else. Um, but next up, I'm just going to block in all of the things that I'm going to take to a ready brown on all the leathers on the belts and such forth to apply a bit of contrast for the stark, bland blacks and greys. Okay, so here are all of the leather bits put in in brown. So even the holster's gone in brown. And uh, primarily this is because I'm mostly using grey scales for these guys apart from the total luminous stuff. And in the case of this particular miniature there's not going to be a lot of the luminous stuff. It'll just be on the panels on her thighs and in the eyes. So i just try to introduce a bit of colour. Uh, next up I'm going to put everything in, in uh, blue-grey. Uh, all the hair, the flesh, the forearms. And then finally I'll introduce purple inks over all of the leather and then over the forearms and over the hair so I'll start working towards those purple tones there. So I'll get in all of that colour blocked in and I'll be back in a second just before I do the ink wash. So here we have all of the light tone introduced now and um, you'll see it's, oops, it's, it's pretty just blocked in. Nothing at all complicated here. So at this point, the last thing I want to do in terms of base coating, because this is really just setting up the areas of tone, if you like. Um, I know in the past, a lot of the time, I build up a lot of tone at this point, or even now, I often do. Uh, but for this one, I'm just going to add a purple ink to the hair. I do feel like, I don't know, I'm struggling with this mini. I don't know why. It's a beautiful mini. But it does not feel nice to be painting it for some reason. I'm not sure why. Um, I don't feel like I'm doing a very good job of it anyway at the moment. Uh, it just feels very crude and blocky and meh. Um, struggling quite a lot actually with the left colour scheme as well I think maybe I've chosen a bad way of doing it but I am using this kind of thing as a sort of set precedent and I'm sure I'll improve like the Aceres, um, I may go back to the Aceres at some point because I'm just, I don't know, I'm not happy with the final result um, it's not clean enough, it's not pretty enough, it's not shiny enough um, so I'm going to improve on that whilst painting this one and I'm going to use the lessons I learned doing this one and take it to that. But next up I'm going to apply purple ink to all of the leather work, the forearms and the hair. Just so that I can separate out, in the case of the hair and the forearms, those bits from the rest of her flesh. 
for future reference. So I'll get back in a second with that all done. So here is the Donovan's Hacker ready to go. And I messed up a bit. Um, I was meant to do the wrist purple, and then I was going to do the blacky purple, and <laughs> they ended up just being black. Um, so all hair is in, and I've just made a mess out of this. So this is where we get to test the uh, truth of the saying. Am I actually a good painter or not? Can I recover from my serious errors? This is not, I don't know, not the best place to begin, I feel, with the whole highlighting phase. Normally I've got a lot more uh, sense of how the mini is going to turn out. So, cool mini or not, you decide. Um, I thought I'd enjoy this mini a lot more than I have been. So, thank you for watching. Have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye.